Uh, there are some functions uh, like the first type that is y equals fx to the gx or y equals the square root 2x plus 5 times the, the fourth root uh, like uh, x square minus 7x plus 1 divided by the cubic root like um, x square minus uh, 3x and times the fifth root 7x plus 3 how to find the derivative dy dx dy by dx how to find the derivative of this two of this type of functions the first one we don't have any formula for this type of function because this type of functions are not exponential functions nor um, the power function so we need to deal with those type of function the second types of type of functions are too complicated to find the derivative but we can use some method to uh, to simplify this one this method is called logarithm differentiation first we take the logarith logarithm of those function both sides then then and the function the functions are simplified this is log rhythm differentiation differentiation because the logarithm logarithm function has the properties that is The logarithm functions has the properties that that is the multiplication multiplication can change or transform the multiplication to the addition and the division transform to the subtraction. And uh, the power, or the the power, or, yeah, the power transformed to the multiplication. So those types of functions can be simplified, and then we can use the implicit differentiation to find the derivative. Now, let's take some examples. y equals x to the sine x. Find uh, dy over dx. This function is the type of first function. Or it is the type of the first. 
So we take we take the uh, logarithm both sides. That is log y equals log x to the sine x. But the logarithm uh, has the property that uh, transforms the power to the multiplic multiplication. It's changed uh, changed to the sine x times log x. Then use uh, use the implicit differentiation. We know that the derivative of log x that is one over x. So take the uh, derivative of both sides with respect to the x, the left hand side uh, that is 1 over y times dy by dx. The right hand side, we use the pro product rule to the right hand side, that is cosine x times log x mm, plus sine x times 1 over x. Um, solve this equation. Uh, solve this uh, equation on for dy by dx. That is y times cosine x times log x plus sine x over x. Then change the uh, y back. The y equals x to the sine x. That is cosine x times log x plus uh, sine x over x. So that's the uh, final answer. The other uh, other function. If y equals, we use this equation, use this function, 2x plus 5, 2x plus 5 times the fourth root, mm, that is x squared minus 7x plus 1. Over the cubic root it's x squared minus 3x times the fourth, not the fifth root, and 7x plus, plus 3 and dy over dx. The second type, that is too complicated to find the derivative directly because there's too many uh, multiplications, divisions, and powers. We know that the, uh, the radical function uh, can be viewed as a power function. So the first, first step is take the logarithm both sides. That is log y equals this multiplication. Multiplication equals uh, can change to the to the addition. This can be write as square root 2x plus 5 plus block uh, fourth root x square minus 7x plus 1 minus block as cube root 
x squared minus 3x minus log the fifth root 7x plus 3. We know that square of x, square uh, nth root of x, that is x or uh, x to the 1 over n. So the first is 1 half. And uh, log nth root of x, that is uh, log uh, x to the 1 over n. The 1 over n can change to the, uh, can move to the, uh, move into the front of, uh, in, in, in the front of the log race. That this equation is fact. So the first part is one or uh, one half log two x plus five plus one over four log x squared minus seven x plus one minus one third log x squared minus three x minus 1 over 5 log 7x plus 3. Then take the derivative both sides. That is 1 over y times dy by dx. Take the derivative. The right hand side you use uh, each term use the chain rule. That is 1 half times 2x plus 5. Use chain rule, there's 2. Plus 1 over 4. x squared minus 7x plus 1. Times the derivative in the bracket. In the uh, parenthesis. That is 2x minus 7. Minus 1 third. Then that x squared minus 3x and take the derivative into the parenthesis that is 2x minus 3 minus 1 over 5 7x plus 3 use chain rule with 7 here so that is dy over uh, dx that is y times 1 over 2x plus 5 plus 1 over 4 2x minus 7 over x squared minus 7x plus 1 minus 1 over third, one third 2x minus 3 x squared minus 3x and minus 1 over 5 7 over 7x plus 3 that's the answer and then we can change uh, the back into the original form. Square root 2x plus 5 times uh, fourth root x square minus 7x plus 1. And then over cubic root x square minus 3x times the fifth root 7x plus 3 and then times the term into the parenthesis 2x plus 5 plus 1 over 4 2x minus 7 x squared minus 7x plus 1 minus 1 over 3 2x minus 3 x squared minus 3x plus 1 over 5, 7 over 7x plus 3. That's the final answer. Uh, it's too many terms, but it is, uh, we can find the uh, derivative directly. Also, there's, there's uh, four there's four terms into, in, in the right-hand side. But but all the terms 
uh, addition or subtraction. So we can find the derivative uh, separately. It's not too com. Uh, it's much easier to uh, much easier than to find the derivative derivative directly because there's uh, there's many. If we want to find the uh, the derivative directly, there's many product rule, uh, quotient rule, and uh, power rule. It's too, uh, too complicated to find the derivative. Uh, that's the logarithm differentiation. Uh, most uh, most used for these two type uh, two types of functions.